Omnibus, followed by the London film's classic The Ghost Goes West, Tuesday on BBC One. Now on BBC One, North West Tonight with Merrin Myatt. 500 new jobs for the North West and there could be more to come. A high-tech American engineering company announces it's bringing its European headquarters to the region. And the bus wars that could be putting passengers at risk. Good evening. 500 jobs are to be created in the Northwest as part of a £25 million investment by an American manufacturing company. Omega Engineering have chosen Earlham in Greater Manchester as the site for their European headquarters. The deal is being seen as a major achievement for the region and there are hopes more inward investment could follow. And later in Northwest tonight, could the region's ancient markets be short-changed by the government? And the red stars being carried along on a sea of blue. More of the region's news first though. Today marks the end of an era for Lancashire industry. British Aerospace shut its plant at Strand Road in Preston, ending nearly three quarters of a century of aircraft production. And it was also the last day for workers at Paddyham Power Station near Burnley. Bright horizons we hope for Manchester. Which brings us, of course, to the weather. It'll turn rather misty towards dawn with some patchy fog forming in low-lying rural parts of West Lancashire, South Cheshire and Merseyside. Minimum temperature a rather cool 6 Celsius. Most of the northwest will start dry and bright with a little sunshine, but cloud will increase steadily through the morning, with showers expected to break out once again during the afternoon. Quite a cool, breezy day with a top temperature of only 13 Celsius and with a moderate to fresh easterly to southeasterly breeze. Both Saturday and Sunday will be days of sunny spells and scattered showers, whilst Monday will start cloudy with rain but could turn brighter. Now tonight's main regional news again. 500 new jobs are coming to Greater Manchester. An American engineering company is moving to Earlham. Police put on extra patrols in Liverpool as they warn competition between bus companies could put lives at risk. Elsewhere, 6,000 people are feared dead in the worst earthquake to hit India for more than 50 years. There are hopes that the firefighters dispute will be settled soon. The union expects the employers to breach the government's pay ceiling. That's all from Northwest tonight. Christine Talbot will be here with the latest developments. That's straight after the 9.30 news. Tomorrow we'll be reporting live from the Men's National Gymnastics Championships on Merseyside. But until then, from all of us here, a very good evening to you.